Did you do this on your own? No, I had help. So you have people that work for you? Yes. <clears throat> so you're an employer? Mm -hmm. You pay them? Yes, I do. At the moment, I have three people working for me. The, the most I probably have had is seven, according to how complex the project is. They're like full-time workers? No, 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 no. Probably anyone is full-time. Maybe four days is the most. Um, but, you know, I mean, I'm used to that because I've done theater projects and you have to direct people, so. What is important for you as a, you know, when you employ someone? Mm -hmm. What is important that this person brings? Well, I think it's that they bring their commitment to the project and to, I do a lot of quick thinking and for some people that can be a little upsetting because I'm constantly shifting and figuring something out. And process is, how do you say, it's, it's volatile, it's um, changeable, but in order to get something clear done, you need to change your mind a lot. Is that how we, you think that works, or that works for you? Yeah, no matter how good your model is, there's going to be things that need to be adjusted to that model, no matter you know, what it is. So to achieve something, you kind of have to be flexible? No, and you have to be brutal sometimes, and you have to be, um, you have to be available to failure, you know, because it's not always gonna work. In fact, the more ambitious you are, the more likely that you're going to encounter failure. So you better get used to it. <laughs>